No, when a non-Christian that knows how to play this game expands into Europe, this doesn't happen. But I, I failed, and we just got totally bugged out by France, so... Hold on. Uh, don't ever stand up again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand up sooner or later if I need to go to the toilet or something. Managing coalitions can be a pain. No, no, it's super easy, but if you don't win your wars on time, then you just fail. So everyone in this coalition would want to peace out, but uh, you know, Nassau fucking doesn't. Even if they would, I don't know if I want it, want to. I, frankly, I don't think so. Uh, how should I proceed if I want to conquer the world? I don't know, kill Spain, become emperor? Take Perm? And take the Genua trade, no dude. Look at that. There's plenty of ducats. Just good ass fucking times. Ugh. Now I have to actually win this war, so like... We should probably cross, I don't know how well this is gonna go though, because like... I don't know if I can... I don't think I can beat his army mano a mano. I mean, his is much, much bigger. But they won't all come at the same time. So I suppose... I suppose there is that. What's my truce with France over? In two years. Well, if we can peace out in two years, I'll be more than willing to do that. Then we'll at least have gained something. No, because I can't fight France, because I, I still have so many of those French cores that I still need to take care of. Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking here, I mean... Um, dude, you can just... 
Okay, never mind. Blocked by hostile fort. How the fuck am I supposed to enter that then? There isn't a fort in Athens. The only fort is this thing, so I, and I can't enter that thing and unless I take that out. So, eh? Not really sure what to do here. Show them, boys. Show them how it's done. You know what? I don't think we can uh, we think we can succeed in our end goal here. So we might just uh, we might just conquer Greece and have that be the end of it. Because you know this would take so many real time hours. Like yeah, I couldn't see that guy coming in. These guys won't arrive until the twenty sixth. By that time, the battle will already be over. Well, maybe not. Maybe if we, like, force march in there. But even then, like, there's no way we'll arrive on time. Ah, Nassau's on medium? Ooh, I could piece these out right now. Wouldn't be able to <coughs> ask anything, but... Be able to beast them out right now. Who's in this thing? Yeah. I think I will piece them out. I mean, I really wanted to win this properly, but there is no way. Not right now. See, because now I can uh, finally core my shit. Apparently, a missionary is working in Morhebang. Uh, no. In this thing. Now we're only at war with uh, this, <clears throat> which isn't nearly as impressive. We can get a foothold on England, which is kind of part of the goal, and we can take Crete and Cyprus. Is Holland in this war too? Can't wait to go fight the British Navy. Although I don't know if we can even beat that. 
Well, they've only got 28. I mean, we do have 51 of those, so... Um, do they have better ones? They probably do. Yeah, they do. So I don't even know if 51 is going to be enough to beat the English Navy. And they've got them all pretty much concentrated. Their Navy is about the same size as ours, so I don't think we can beat that unless we get, like, more guys. Oh, that is fucking beautiful. I don't know how these guys got exiled, but they did. Now, it wouldn't be a problem if it didn't take a full fucking month for, for my guys to, uh, to get off of the boat. There you go. How come you have the camera uh, in that position and not directly in front? Because I can't clip it uh, on top of my screen. You have 100k manpower, build more regular troops. Yeah, 100k isn't all that much. I don't know exactly. But, uh, I don't want to build more troops, and I don't, <clears throat> don't want less mercenaries. I might get rid of some of the mercenary horses, though, and the mercenary cannons that I built. But I won't get rid of mercenary um, infantry. Not for the life of me. I'll be damned before I do that. But the mercenary horses, they can certainly go. Now, if I can, I'd like to uh, declare war on someone that's allied with uh, the coalition and then set that person as a coalition. What it says it'll do, I mean, what it said it would do in the patch notes was that it would um, um, call in the coalition but set that target as a coalition. It doesn't do that. It does call in the coalition. It doesn't set the target as a coalition. It says everyone in the in the, in the coalition as a non coalitrant but you can separate piece them so that might be my saving grace here because I still need to pay back loans and a lot of them oh he got Creed down a lot faster than I thought we would that's nice And a free diplomat we have, we're going to improve relations with Kazan with, because that's necessary. Now, when's my truce with you over? 68. When are these cores finished? 2nd of June, 69. That's when I'd like to have this war wrapped up then and um, start fighting France and Naples again. And I will set the both of them as a coalition because I, they can't join a coalition. I've got a truce with everyone in, in the coalition until 1772. So we've got a window between 1769 and 1772 where we have to declare a war on Naples.
Okay, well. And when are you going to be finished? December 69. Okay. If that's the case, we probably won't even be able to take land. Let me just check though. I don't think we'll be able to take land because uh, we need diplomatic points, right? So getting something out of this war might be uh, might not be in the in the stars for us. Oh my, that's definitely the British Navy. I don't want to fight them without having new ships. When are they going to be finished? Oh, they're 50% already. Well, we can't go fight Britain until we've got that navy completed. It's not, uh, it's not possible. No, no, I think, I think we can't get anything out of this war. We need to pay dip, right? So, and we don't have dip because it's going to drop down to zero. So that won't work. What I could try and do is just uh, put our armies into France, all of them, and get ready to win that war within a three-year time period. I think we can do that, especially now that they're a lot smaller. Yeah! See a real reason why I'd want to pick that up? with France over and Naples as well as Nuremberg I think well Mazovia is in that but who really gives a shit about Mazovia I mean really Check the religious map. Oh, this is going to be so beautiful once we've cleaned this up properly. I can't wait. I really can't wait. That's going to be such a big Zoroastrianism. That's going to make for a pretty end picture. At least that. And us being first place, which we aren't really first place in a lot of our playthroughs because we, uh, we usually just disregard tech, but now with all these defensive wars... Uh, we were kind of forced to pick up technology. We didn't really have another choice. So, 
Well, at least peace has returned to the Grand Persian Empire. That really makes me happy. Because damn. That was some bullshit. Just came into this foyer where what's happening? Uh, we're fighting a defensive coalition war that was declared by Pomerania. We're at war with this right now. We used to be at war with the other half of Europe as well, but we just recently pieced them out. Now I could just truce break someone. I could just truce break the knights. Or Austria or something. I mean, that might be the only way we could get out of this vicious circle. Second of June. I'm gonna pick up the guys from Cyprus. Yeah, I don't think we can get anything out of this. We'd have to f fully commit to that, and we don't have the time. So, I might just piece these guys out. Oh, that is so good. percent so level nine for well we only have six thousand cannons so it's only natural that this we've got zero siege ticks how is that we've been sitting here for so long how do we have zero siege ticks is this bugged or like let's see now we've got a siege tick it's whatever though I think we, we're just going to piece them out And uh, fight Naples instead. And before we do that, we're going to peace out, I mean, ally Kazan, I think. That should brighten up my day. They'd be willing to peace, but... Oh, they'd be willing to give me shit, too. What the f... Well, that does change things a little bit. Because then I kind of do want to wait until I siege up Cyprus. Um... No, I have to declare this war, like, right now. Ooh, they're allied to Milan. Oh, they're so good. They're allied with uh, Milan. And if I set Milan as a Kobolich... No, I can't set Milan as a Kobolich. But, they are allied to Milan, so I would be able to take this coastline. So that'd be real fucking good, guys. That'd be so fucking good. Okay, fine. We'll build a couple of cannons. How many cannons would I need here to get five siege bonus? Twenty. We've got six, so let's just build. Uh, let's just use this thing. 
get ourselves a couple of cannons and siege that up. That's fine. Galra would want a separate piece. Uh, I don't know what we can possibly get out of them. Nothing of real importance, so let's just piece them out. Should be a tad more war score as well. It's a bug, so you may have to leave the province and come back in. Yeah, I figured. Now, I just have to keep watching this so that it doesn't screw me. So if I keep watching this, it, uh, it should keep working. No! Oh, wait! It doesn't always give me a tick. Never mind. It doesn't always give you a tick. I don't need 27,000 cannons. I need 20,000 cannons. Integrating Provence. Beautiful. Because yeah, that province takes forever to siege down, and now that we can get it, we might as well... May as well just go ahead and get it. Wow. Still takes forever. What a monstrosity that is. Uh, maybe we can try and pick up a siege guy. Or something. Oh wow, Ishmael. You're my best general so far. Huh. But yeah, no one's above a one siege except for my king, and I don't really want my king to die, so. He stood up and his donger was on cam. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Flory could totally be a cam girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm wasting so much time here with this fucking Cypress thing. This is uh, insane. Just throwing that out there, this is insane. Okay? Paradox. This is stupid. There is no way these guys would last for this long. This is fucking dumb. Every island- This is so stupid. This is so stupid. This has nothing to do with immersion or realism or what the fuck. This is just dumb. Like, eh. Uh. Assault, yeah, if I do that, I lose all my men and we don't make any progress at all because it's a level 9 fort, so I'm just building... I'm gonna build me 40,000 men to get this siege done before the end of the game.
Like this is not. There is a hundred thousand men on Cyprus right now. These guys should be begging me for mercy, but they're not. I feel like if you have ten times as many guys as the fucking fort is, like th this is just so stupid.